Puller parts, parts of bearing puller, parts of cable puller and parts of cable winches. Puller parts introduction. A puller is a tool or device used to eliminate sets from the rotating machine shaft. The most well-known application of a puller is removing a tapered bearing or tightened bearing from a rotating shaft. For instance, in car transmission pullers are comprised of steel of tool grade dot while tool grade is harder than the parts they are utilized on. Why do you need a puller? Assuming a part, for example, a gear, bearing, or ball bearing, is tight to such an extent that you can't loosen it with your strength, you really want a tool to assist you with doing as such. In a situation where a stuck part is installed on a machine, for instance, prompting a halt, dismantling should be quick as well as effective, protected, and gentle. Just a puller can give you that. A puller in this manner represents added worth, productivity, and long-term service life for machines. Different types of pullers. There are various kinds of pullers, including bearing pullers, cable pullers, and cable winches. 1. Bearing pullers. Bearing pullers are utilized to remove or eliminate parts like bearings, gears, or pulleys from a shaft. A bearing puller is utilized to remove or eliminate bearings, gears, or pulleys, which are parts that are in practically steady use. 2. Cable pullers, a handworked mechanical gadget which is utilized for moving, pulling, or fixing a load is called a cable puller. 3. Cable winches, cable winches are hand-operated mechanical devices that are perfect for moving and pulling loads. Cable winches can be attached to a trailer or vehicle yet not pulled by the vehicle. They actually must be operated by the user. Puller parts A. Parts of bearing puller 1. Bearings, a bearing is a part of a machine, like an engine, that constrains relative motion or movement. Set forth simply, this implies that a bearing rotates or turns at a similar speed as the rotating part, this assists with reducing friction between the moving parts. 2. Pulleys, a pulley is a groove or notch wheel attached to a crankshaft. The pulley is connected or associated with a belt that guides power to all of the systems in an engine. 3. Gears 4. Bearing puller forcing screw The forcing screw is a long, fine threaded screw that is rotated or turned against the center of the shaft. While the forcing screw is rotated or turned, it applies a force to the part you are eliminating. 5. Hexagonal head on a bearing puller. The hexagonal head is attached or appended to the forcing screw. It is handily rotated with a socket wrench or dibner. 6. Reversible claw legs on a bearing puller. Interior and exterior pulls are allowed by reversible claw legs. 7. Bearing puller cross arms. The cross arm attaches the legs to the forcing screw. B. Parts of cable puller. 1. Cable puller ratchet drive. The ratchet drive comprises two sprockets connected or associated with a cable drum. The drive pulls draw in with the sprockets to assist with rotating or turning the ratchet and pulling the desired load. 2. Cable puller stop pull spring. The stop pull spring goes about as a plug on the sprocket cam. 3. Cable puller drive pawl. The drive pawl is connected or associated as well as constrained by the drive pawl spring. The spring will engage or separate the drive pawl from the ratchet drive. 4. Drive pawl spring. The drive pawl spring can be set in an up or down position. 5. Anchor hook on a cable puller. The anchor hook will be connected or associated with the anchor point where the pulling will happen. 6. Load hook on a cable puller. An additional load hook can be tracked down on some, but not every single, cable puller. 7. 
Stop Paul Trigger on a Cable Puller The Stop Paul Trigger is appended or attached to the Stop Paul Spring. 9. Cable Guard The guard shields the cable from slipping away when loose or free, and is located on one or the other side of the puller, to provide a barrier when the cable is being twisted in. 10. Cable Puller Lever Handle The cable is located or situated in the center of the puller around a drum. 11. Hanging Pulley on a Cable Puller The role of the hanging pulley is that it permits or allows the cable to run from the drum straight to the low cup. C. Parts of Cable Winches 1. Cable Winch Load Hub the cable which is placed on the object that will be further removed or pulled is connected or associated with load hub. 2. Cable, drum, and gears on a cable winch. The main and fundamental ratchet and crank locking system comprises a wire cable placed around a drum with a gear on one side. 3. Ratchet switch pawl on a cable winch. The ratchet switch pawl can be put in an up or down position to draw in with the gear located on the drive axle. 4. Cable Winch Mounting Base This is a heavy or weighty plate chassis that supports the ratcheting or tightening crank locking mechanism. It contains mounting holes on the base plate which can be utilized to mount hard flat surfaces on a vehicle. 5. Crank Handle on a Cable Winch The drive axle which can be turned in both directions clockwise or anti-clockwise, it is further connected or associated with crank handle. Cable Winch Drum Axle The drum axle holds the drum in place. Turning the handle rotates or pivots both the drive and drum axle, making the drum turn. 7. Cable Winch Dive Axle The drive axle is set through the center of the winch and drives the ratcheting crank locking system as it is connected or associated with the handle. Each time the handle is turned clockwise or anti-clockwise, the gears draw in with one another and turn the drum, empowering the cable to wind or unwind. Conclusion The decision or choice of which puller to utilize is reliant upon many factors that you'll initially have to lay out a plan for whether you want an exterior or an interior puller. Pullers are considered to be safe and controlled for the removal of parts from equipment using a few jaws that hold the object as it is pulled from its original position. Pullers wipe out the tedious and unsafe processes of hammering, torching, and prying. Pullers are a basic support tool for experts working in a variety of industries. Thanks for watching.